Hello and welcome to Sanita Singh Studio guys and this is uh, Avinash and um, I guess this would be my third or fourth video on this channel. So today I am here with a very important session which was requested by so many of you regarding the kind of laptop or the gadgets you need to purchase uh, before you enter the design college or when you are in the design college. So I'm going to talk about this today but before that Please like it, share it and subscribe it so that we can get more audiences who are keen to get information about the design entrance exam or somebody who doesn't have the available resources to prepare for design entrance exam. As you must have realized as of now that our channel is completely dedicated for design entrance exam, uh, the pattern, the syllabus the kind of topics that appears in the NIFT, NID exams or what kind of syllabus is there when you are into the design college, the kind of placements, internship. So it's a one-stop place where you can find all the information about design colleges. So uh, let's moving on to the topic which is uh, the kind of gadgets which a student require when in the design college so first we'll talk about the laptop now we have been getting so many questions uh, from the student like is it necessary to buy a laptop immediately or uh, can we buy it later on or what kind of laptop or the configuration is required or is there any other gadget which uh, we can buy so see uh, it's a uh, mix information so I'm going to share the information step by step to you the first thing is laptop is not immediately required when you are going to appear or going to enter into the college it is not immediately required but it's up to you if you want to make a purchase of the laptop you can do it or you can purchase it in the second semester as well as it is not very much important in the first semester second who cannot afford to buy the laptop you'll always have a computer lab where you can go and practice the computer lab opens at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, will remain open till 8 o'clock in the evening so you can make full use of the lab that is the second thing but the only disadvantage of the uh, labs computer I would say that is uh, you cannot use it at night or when you are free when you think that you are making mind you are you should prepare something you should draw something uh, you should make the presentation so the computer is not handy with you all the time sometimes you are out sometimes you are in your hostel room or in your flat outside so it's not always available with you so that is the only dis disadvantage so let's talk about the kind of configuration uh, of a laptop required for the designer students mainly you all the design students would be using uh, heavy softwares like uh, for the graphic design for 3d mapping and everything like uh, adobe's illustrator photoshop 3d max um, autocad so these are some programs uh, which are very heavy to use when you start appearing or when you start using it and at the same time you cannot just go ahead and uh, use two or three software simultaneously if your configuration of the laptop is too weak so if i talk about the processor of the laptop it should be minimum of i5 that is intel 5 generation of 9th or 10th generation or uh, ryzen processor now ryzen also have varieties of it 3880x and there are so many of them so uh, the minimum configuration if i'll talk about the processor should be i5 9th generation and above or ryzen second if i'll talk about the ram that is random access memory of the laptop i would suggest you to keep it a minimum of 8 gigabytes though i would recommend 16 gigabytes but the minimum should be 8 gigabytes now if i'll talk about the hard drive try to take a laptop which has ssd into it and not hdd SSD makes computer operation faster compared to others or compared to HDD. So uh, that is the third thing you should keep in mind. If you really want to work smoother on your laptop and keep your laptop or use it for a longer duration of the time. And uh, the fourth important thing that is graphics card. There should be an inbuilt graphics card of minimum 4 gigabytes. And uh, there should be an uh, additional slot for... Uh, graphic card so that in future if you want to increase 
the memory of the graphic card you can always do it all right so there are four most important things by when you are opting for a laptop first operating system second random access memory third type of hard drive fourth graphics card these are the four important things now there are so many of them available on the amazon and uh, people say that uh, should i buy apple can i buy apple absolutely it's amazing machine you can always do that the only problem is selected softwares and programs you can definitely use all sort of adobe programs 3d max autocad but i'm sure that when you are going to buy a laptop uh, you are going to use these softwares you are not going to buy it right either you're going to rent these softwares or i'm not sure how you're going to do it but it's easily available on windows laptop and uh, if you talk about the apple it's really really hard you know to make available these softwares in your computer so uh, i would suggest windows laptop as of now second the second gadget if i'll talk about uh, dslr cameras photography is an uh, essential thing when you are in design college to shoot your products to you know uh, shoot your designs so it is an essential product but it's not very necessary to buy it so i have seen so many students they uh, you know use the, uh, their friends camera because it's not required every now and then right you have to use it sometimes so either you can buy it in share with uh, your friends so that everyone uh, can use it and you'll have to spend uh, less amount while buying it or uh, the second thing is that you can always uh, borrow it from uh, your friend and use it right that's what you can do third is ipad if you are keen into sketching and if you are uh, more into sketching designs and everything so uh, i would suggest go for ipad which uh, is compatible with apple pencil that's what you can do it's not limited to ipad you can always buy a samsung tab as well which comes with an s pen so you can always it's always handy you can always draw your thoughts there immediately so these are the basic gadgets uh, which is required which is not required i would say which you can always buy when you are into design college uh, but the only important necessary thing is laptop uh, because it comes handy you can access it anytime anywhere whenever you are free whenever you are available or whenever you want all right so this was the information about the gadgets the type of gadget the configuration of the gadget all right so i will be sharing the links of the available laptop on amazon or flipkart the link will be in the description down below and you can always make a purchase from there or otherwise you can always visit the nearby uh, center or nearby the uh, computer shop to purchase these laptops and uh, see how many how much benefit you can get maybe you can get some cashbacks discounts and uh, it will be a less burden for you all right so this was all about gadget and the type of gadgets how which you can buy in the design college and uh, that was it from our end the next video probably would be from ma'am's end that would be about uh, uh, the type of courses available in nid and nift and what are the major differences so uh, for now this is it and we'll see you in the next video then till then please take care of yourself stay happy and uh, best of luck for all the students who have already got their seat secured in the design college please share subscribe and like it again thank you very much goodbye